In this video, we're going to focus on creating this drop down option here, very similar to this one here. We want to make sure that we have all these tasks being shown here. So let's start to make this. In this part, which is part 17 of the Gantt chart series for charges, we're going to make this, convert this into a structure very similar to this here. So we can have these options. So what we're going to do here is we're going to scroll down and we're just going to copy one of the specific items here. So we can just copy this entire function of add names because basically the logic what we have here will be reused. So what we're going to do here is we can just put it here down, paste that in there. And now instead of add names, I'm going to change this to add tasks. And then of course we want to copy the function to trigger it. So let's see add tasks. And all we need to do here is basically convert a few items into tasks. And of course, create some specific element for this because this task element here is this one. Let's do that one first. We have here the uh, task, but the task will be on the name task input and it has the same data list as this here. So we're going to change this and we'll say here tasks and then we're going to say here this will be our list and this list equals the tasks. So now we have that, let's scroll down again and keep on adjusting. So we have here the add names, add tasks. Uh, let's see what's going on here. And we have here the add task and function add task. Oh, I see here we have probably this double. So we might want to remove this. What's that? Oh, sorry, my bad. This is adding a single task, singular, and the other one is add task with uh, plurals or multiples. So make sure you don't get confused by that. All right, so what we're gonna do here, basically all these things can be changed into tasks because it's just related to this specific element. So then here we have the names array. This logic here, we already built this, so we don't need this anymore. And then we have here the names array filter. So this is the one that was filtered out to avoid to have duplicates. Now what we want to do is this can be into task and let's rename this to what we have named it at the very top here somewhere, the labels array filter. That's the one we need. So then we go to the add task here, we can put that in there. Let's remove all of this. We have here the labels array filter and this will be the task item something like that or task name doesn't matter anything you want for that and of course what or maybe you can say the task name is maybe better and I put in here the task name so if I save this refresh we should have now here the option this becomes important for another video of course but we have this one here and in the next video we're going to fix this specific item as well 